Hey guys, this is Sid with SVTPerformance.com and as you can see, I'm out in the woods in sort of the middle of nowhere, but not quite. And I have some news for you today. First, I need to get out of this place. I've got a very good reason for it. Look at this. No alcoholic beverages allowed. I can't stay there for very long. So let's start heading back towards civilization at a place called uh, Long Point Park uh, in Sebastian, Florida. You can see it's beautiful out here today. A little windy, still a little cool. Uh, we came here right after the uh, Bradenton race. Been hanging out, visiting some of our awesome vendors on SVTP. You know, within a short driving distance, we have Lethal Performance, VMP Performance, SCT Tuning, Diablo Sport. Uh, we have NPD up in Ocala. So this is kind of a great uh, base for us to just stop and get some content for you guys. And, meet up with a lot of old friends. So we're here hanging around in this campground and I got a little news from the folks over at Whipple Superchargers. I've been after Dustin and the crew for this for a long time. He finally sent me some info on the new 7.3 liter gas Ford V8 Whipple Supercharger kit. We've got some renderings and some actual prototype photos. And I'm sorry if this is windy, it just is what it is. But I thought this might be sort of an appropriate place to talk about this because if you're in a campground, you're gonna be surrounded by Ford engines. You can guarantee that van's got probably a Ford V10, might be a V8. This Winnebago definitely has a Ford V10. And these are two vehicles, the E-Series and the F53 motorhome chassis. Both of these things are gonna have 7.3 liters in them before too very long. Ford is gonna stick that Godzilla engine in just about everything but right now it's in super duty and we've been test driving those things with uh the guys at five star tuning with their 87 to 93 octane tunes in it for you know, a couple months now if you've missed that kind of stuff check it out on the channel uh the trucks drive fantastic and that motor just sounds great but of course this is svt performance and what do we want we want more power out of it so what better way to do that than to bolt on a blower and whipple cut us in on some info See, look at these two trucks right here. Got a 6.7 diesel. This one's 6.2 gas motor. Guy would be a perfect candidate for a Whipple, which they make a kit for these trucks. But if it had a 7.3, it would be even more powerful because the 6.2, was. it's a great engine. It's reliable, a little thirsty, but not too bad. But it just never had that performance potential that uh, we really wanted out of a big gas V8 from Ford. And the 7.3 is really delivered on that. But with the Whipple bolted on top, it's even better. So they sent us a few renderings. The first few are a very, very early uh, rendering that they put together, uh, just in different colors to give you an idea of the options that are gonna be available. But uh, one thing that was different about this versus what the production kit will be, these renderings were kind of early in the design phase before Whipple had uh, the full CAD files from Ford to really know uh, where everything was gonna be laid out in the engine bay on these engines. So the th uh, throttle body mount, the inlet going into the blower with the throttle body mounts on, it's a little bit different shape than uh, what the actual production kit is. But as you can see, uh, available in a bunch of different colors, you know, red, yellow. Whipple can custom do these blowers uh, and most of their blowers in just about any color you want. It just takes longer uh, to get the kit produced because it's a one-off, they do them one at a time. Plus you have to pay extra for it. Uh, if not, you get the standard black, which looks great. But if you want to color match it, that is an option. But like I said, these are just very early uh, renderings and uh, not exactly uh, what the finished product will be. But we have one that's a little closer to real life of what you can expect. And that is a full billet prototype that Whipple put together. This one does have the correct inlet with the throttle body uh, mounted exactly like it is on the production Super Duty engine intake manifold. So this gives you an idea of what the actual final product is going to end up looking like. Of course, it will be cast instead of billet and it will be, uh, like I said, offered in any number of custom powder coating or polish choices, standard of course being black, which I think looks great on a Super Duty anyways. Speaking of Super Duty, look at this guy. Like a piece of my heart here, a 6'4 truck. 
You know, my personal Super Duty is a 2009 6.4 liter, and a guy like this, or a guy like myself, are the perfect uh, candidates to pick up one of these newer 7.3 trucks because, you know, the 6.4s, while they make a ton of power, and mine has been a great engine. I've never had any trouble with it. Uh, you know that it's going to be expensive when and if, and it's really a matter of if at this point they go. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, when I'm looking to replace my uh, Super Duty, probably going to end up with a 7.3 gas motor just because they're so simple. I only have 65,000 miles on my truck, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to keep the diesel and uh, all that added maintenance cost and fuel cost and everything when, you know, regular fuel is right at two bucks a gallon now. Diesel is still closer to uh, 250, 270, something like that, plus fuel additives and everything. And then Whipple gives us this blower that I can bolt on and get diesel-like performance for big horsepower applications, not necessarily truck applications, so don't get too excited thinking this is gonna go on your Super Duty. But we have heard rumors that they're working on a new 3.8 liter Gen 5 Whipple supercharger kit for the 7.3, but that's gonna be for straight up racing applications, things like that. You're not gonna bolt that onto your F-250 and go down the road, really, towing 10,000 pounds. That's not what that kit is intended to do. But according to Whipple, looks like it may be an option in the future. But if the design of this prototype blower looks somewhat familiar to you, that's probably for good reason. It's very, very similar to the five liter Coyote V8 kit that uh, Whipple has for the 2018 and up Mustang GTs. And uh, that design change was necessitated due to the direct injection system being mounted in the valley on the Coyote V8. It basically made it impossible to fit a really large intercooler cord down in the valley with the uh, blower blowing down into the intercooler, like we traditionally saw on the Terminators, GT500s, things like that in the past. So Whipple went with the flip setup where the blower blows up into the intercooler core, then goes down into the cylinder heads, of course. The 7.3 kit is the same setup. Uh, we have the intercooler cores on top with the blower blowing up into them, the blower sitting in the valley of the engine, of course. That's uh, a really, really efficient way to make a supercharger kit makes the uh, air path far less turbulent for the, uh, the boost to make its way into the cylinder heads. So uh, the design is very similar to that five liter kit. It has three intercooler cores, but Whipple told us that the cores are much larger in the 7.3 blower kit than on the five liter Mustang. And it's for good reason. You gotta think about the duty cycle that these engines are likely to see. A Mustang, you might be going wide open throttle for a quarter mile at a time in a 3,800 pound car. In a Super Duty with that 7.3 motor, you could be loaded up, you know, total weight 20,000 pounds plus, pulling a 7% grade that's five miles long at 40 to 50% throttle. So you would be seeing like four to six pounds of boost that entire time. That's an enormous amount of load to be putting on an engine. And it's gonna create a tremendous amount of heat, even at low boost, it's still gonna make quite a bit of uh, heat in the uh, airstream before it hits the cylinder heads. You want to be able to cool that off before it gets into the engine, so you're going to want a large intercooling system to handle that. And it looks like that's exactly what Whipple's designed, you know, a kit that's made to do some serious work. If you look at the inlet uh, of the blower, we pointed this out before, that the throttle body's in the same sp place as the factory intake manifold, the NA in intake manifold. But Whipple's using their infamous, massive oval throttle body this will of course be an option. You'll be able to use your factory round throttle body as the standard piece. But Whipple's gonna offer the large oval bore throttle body and that thing pays huge dividends on a boosted application because on a positive displacement blower, any restriction you can move, remove from the inlet path before it hits those supercharger rotors pays massive dividends in power gain. So going with that big throttle body will probably pick you up quite a bit of power over the base kit. That's an option I would definitely look into. Another option that's going to be available, supposedly in the near future, is going to be 10 rib supercharger belt. For the guy that's just going to run eight pounds of boost on his F2 or 350 trim or whatever, you probably don't need that upgrade. But if you want to start really cranking the boost up, you're definitely going to want the 10 rib blower set up. On top of that, it just looks cool to have a 10 rib uh, blower belt on. So that's something that I would probably go for 
Now finally, what kind of power numbers can we expect out of this? Of course, we're too early in the game to have actual final production power numbers, but from what we're hearing on eight pounds of boost, we're seeing well into the 700 horsepower range with torque to match. Now we have more photos plus more information on this kit over on svtperformance.com. So I've put the link in the description below to our full article. If you want to just click that, head over. Like I said, we've got a ton more information, especially on the 7.3 engine because we know you guys are really interested in that. We've gotten a lot of uh, good feedback from you guys on the performance gains and everything. And we've had a few people on the forum actually order new trucks with that uh, engine. And I've got a few thanks on uh, from a few people saying that it was based in part on the information we provided and I'm hoping you guys find it useful. We love digging up this stuff and finding it for you guys. So if you would, click the link in the description, head over to svtperformance.com, check out that latest article we have featuring the Whipple Supercharger for the 7.3 liter Ford Godzilla V8 and all our latest news, reviews, and information on your favorite Ford Performance vehicles.